So we've been doing some work where we're trying not to engage the core, uh, partly out of necessity, but partly because it's interesting to learn how to move in different ways, and this is a good uh, gateway for me into more internal work. Uh, a little while ago I was looking at using stretch bands and this idea of of course I can muscle the band out but instead activating the chest for example to, to apply the power to apply the strength. So we're going to take that idea today and we're just going to now look at using it against another person so we're working up as to how we put this into our actual work. So what I'm going to ask Jay to do is just come in and kind of grab the arms. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, if you come in a little bit more to them. So I can engage, I can engage my stance, I engage the core, and I sort of come out to meet him a little bit, and then we're in this position, and from here we're going to wrestle a little bit, and whoever's got the better technique or whatever will get some advantage. Basically, we're, we're working for position, right? So I'm going to try and get this, or maybe like that, and so on. That's okay, but this is uh, engaging the core. If you want to look at something a little bit different, <laughs> you don't engage him, <laughs> but um, in order to not engage him, I can't engage myself, right? If I engage myself, then I engage him, and look, <laughs> right? Instead, I'm not engaging my stance, I'm not engaging my core, but I am activating the chest in order to bring the arms out, and then I'm working from there. So if we go kind of slow, okay, I'm activating the chest a little, and then I'm just relaxing off. I'm using the hip just to give him a little bit of direction, and it goes. So it's very important that on that very first contact, I don't so much wait for him to grab and then do this, but as that grab is coming in, I'm already activating the chest. So when he touches, I'm already feeding into his system. He's already mm. off balance. Yeah. I'll, I'll kind of try and... The trouble with internal stuff is quite difficult to yeah. see, right? You can feel, it, feel it, yeah. but it's a little bit difficult. So I'll kind of try and exaggerate it a little bit. So, uh, then I'll just relax the hip. And because he's off balance, he's very easy to move. If I engage normally, See, I might, I've got to fight to get his balance now. Yeah, I know some tricks, but so does he. <laughs> <laughs> this way, he's, he's already off balance. So, how do we do this work? Well, the answer, of course, is through the breathing. As he comes in, I'm inhaling. Then, I exhale. So I'm not so much using my movement, obviously I'm using the movement, but the movement is activated through the breath. And this is a nice thing as well, because if this guy is rushing at me, I'm going to be a little bit nervous, to be honest. <laughs> you know? So to inhale is quite natural. The trick then, of course, is to be able to exhale on that part as well, and not get stuck in the inhale. Because when we activate, it shouldn't be kind of, don't think it's like tense. You know, um, again, showing for the camera, I have to exaggerate it a little bit, but it's not like, ha ha, ha, you know, I'm locking myself in. Yeah. Instead, it's more like a. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, post. <laughs> <laughs> nice footwork. Shame you missed that. <laughs> that was really good. So, this is why we say internal work, because. Of course we're using muscle, we're using bone, we're using tendon and everything else, but it's all, uh, the, the, the activation comes from the breath, which comes from the mind, you know, or even not the mind sometimes because you're naturally scared anyway. So take that flinch, take that reaction, and instead you make that a response. Now I'm in control of it, rather than being, uh, it controls me. So look again at that earlier work we did with the stretch bands or, or where we're doing this kind of exercise, you know, where in order to uh, keep the strength in the arm and not use the stance, I activate from the chest. It's the same idea. Same for you. And then the more movement I've got here, the better. So it's not just uh, an outward movement, but of course it should work in any direction. 
So again, this is just a principle to explain the idea to you. Uh, you've got a kind of use there, but next time we'll look at actually using this in a more uh, uh, active way, perhaps. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great.